Ruby, Volume 3, Chapter 12, End of the Beginning, also known as Volume 3, Season Finale. What's up, guys? Amalgam Wildcard here. So, it's about time, but I also don't want it to end. So, please, if you haven't already done so in previous videos, tell me there's a Volume 4 coming. Please. I need more Ruby in my life. <sighs> I After that last episode, I just want to keep going. I'm not going to waste any more time with this intro, so let's get to it. Go. up at 3.15 watching this, but it's worth it. I, I gotta finish it. We haven't seen Weiss's sister again since the first episode of two. Well, not episode two. Yeah, it wasn't episode two. It wasn't the first episode two. Yeah, I'm rambling. Here we go. The season finale of volume three. See more of that fight. That's it. Everybody on board. This is a mandatory evacuation. A safe zone has been established in Vale. Please remain calm and listen to Anders' personnel. Ruby, oh, I found you. Ruby, where are Don't you? Worry, I'm fine. What's going on? Weiss? What is it? Okay. The soldiers have a ship ready to take you guys to bail. But John and Pira are still missing. What? Look, guys. That giant crim keeps circling the school. Even the white fang are pulling out. We all have to go. Now. We're not leaving. I'll find them. I'll find them, and I'll bring them back. No. We will find them. Watch after Blake and Yang. We'll be back. You better be! Idiots. They gotta rescue their friends. Don't call them idiots. Come on now. Okay, I think I have Glinda's number. Oh, where is it? Pira? What was all of that? I... But, Ospin, there's no time. Go, get to Vale, and call for help. Huh? What are you gonna do? No. No, Pira, you can't. You saw how powerful she is. Pira, I won't let you do. Oh? 
There you go. Oh. I'm sorry. It's a goodbye kiss. Hey! Wait, stop! Stop! Kira, please don't do this! Oh. 
Ooh. I don't like that sound. It's unfortunate you were promised a power that was never truly yours. But take comfort in knowing that I will use it in ways you could never have imagined. Do you believe in destiny? Yes. Oh no. Don't kill her. Killed another friend in front of Ruby's eyes. You're awake! What happened? Your Uncle Crow found you. Unconscious. He got you out of there, though. He brought you home safe. Wait! Yang! Is she alright? Uh... She's, uh... She's gonna be alright. I think she's just... I think it's just gonna take some time for her to get used to things. She's too strong to let this stop her. I'm just glad to have my girls back at home. What happened to the school? And Vale, were they able to clear out the Grim? Things at Vale are under control. But the school? It, yeah, it's not that simple. That thing, whatever it is, doesn't seem to be dead. Don't get me wrong, you did a number on it. But it's not disappearing. It's kind of frozen. I know that doesn't sound too bad, but... He's attracting more grim to the school. I did what? <laughs> you said I did a number on it. What do you mean? I... Look, that's not important right now. We can talk about it later. Things are just... Kind of a mess. Is she one of the maidens? <sighs> Mind if we have a minute? What, I can't stay here? Ty, please. I'm glad you're all right. I'll go make us some tea. So, how you feeling? Um, I kind of hurt all over. <laughs> that makes sense, after what you did. You guys keep saying that, that I did something. What are you talking about? What's the last thing you remember? I ran up the side of the tower, and when I got to the top, I... <gasps> Pira! Is she? She's gone. I... I... I got to the top, and I saw Pira! And Cinder! 
Cinder, that's right. And then everything went white. Anything else? I remember my head hurting. The night you met Ospin, what was the first thing he said to you? I, I, I don't know. I think it was something about... Silver eyes. That's an extremely rare trait. So? You're special, Ruby. And not in the daddy loves his special angel kind of way. You're special the same way your mom was. Remnants full of legends and stories. Some of them true, some made up. But there's one Oz told me from a very long time ago. Back before Huntsman, before Kingdoms, it was said that those born with silver eyes were destined to lead the life of a warrior. You see, the creatures of Grimm, the most fearsome monsters mankind had ever encountered, were afraid of those silver-eyed warriors. They were the best of the best. It was said that even a single look from one of these fighters could strike a Grimm down. <laughs> it's a ridiculous story. But... You think that I might be... <laughs> well, a giant monster's currently frozen on top of Beacon Tower. And you're here, safe in bed. Wait, wait, how did you know what Ospin said to me? The night we met? All those missions I go on. All the times I'm away in some far-off place. It's been for Ozpin, but he's missing now. So he's not dead. He's been set in motion. With Oz gone, I'll have to pick up where he left off. What's it missing? Then what can I do? If I'm so special, then I can help, right? <sighs> you really want to help? Get some rest. You're in no condition to go anywhere right now. Besides... Our enemy's trail leads all the way to Haven. That'd be quite a trip for a pipsqueak like you. Catch you later, kiddo. Hmm. Outside of Vale knows what happened here. Before the tower fell, the last thing people saw was Atlas attacking innocent people and Grim destroying the city. Everyone's scared. No one knows who to trust. So Weiss's father came to take her back to Alice, where he thinks it's safe. She's gone. What about And Blake ran? Sun saw her go. After we got to the city, she just ran but why i don't know and i don't care there has to be a reason she no there doesn't sometimes bad things just happen ruby so what do we do now you can do whatever you want i'm gonna lie here Yang. Just leave me alone. I love you.
Gaben's a long way to go. I know. But it's the only way we have. And you're sure you want to come along? The journey will be perilous. And whether we'll find answers at the end is entirely uncertain. But we wouldn't be here if we weren't up for it. Then let's get started. So is that gonna be the new smaller, team? More honest soul. It's true that a simple spark can ignite hope. Breathe fire into the hearts of the weary. The ability to derive strength from hope is undoubtedly mankind's greatest attribute. Which is why I will focus all of my power to snuff it out. How does it feel? Knowing that all of your time and effort has been for nothing. That your guardians have failed you. That everything you've built will be torn down before your very eyes. Your faith in mankind was not misplaced. When banded together, unified by a common enemy, they are a noticeable threat. But divide them. Place doubt into their minds. And any semblance of power they once had will wash away. Of course, they won't realize it at first. Like you, they'll cling to their fleeting hope, their aspirations. But this is merely the first move. So you send your guardians, your huntsmen and huntresses, and when they fail and you turn to your smaller soul, Know that you send her to the same pitiful demise. This is the beginning of the end, Ospin. And I can't wait to watch you burn. Oh, snap. I think that answers my question about volume four. And if they're if they're just like, nah, we're not gonna make a volume four, that is a sick joke. Do not tease something that's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. And then you're like, eh. We're gonna discontinue it. No, you gotta continue it. Cause I'm very into it now. <laughs> this series is so great. It is by far one of my favorite anime cartoon series ever of all time, hands down. I mean, I'm just going to throw that out there. It's, I mean... It's easily in the top five of my favorite uh, shows out there. Oh, man. It's so great. <laughs> Everything's changed, though. I don't even know how Volume 4 is going to be. Because, I mean, it's supposed to be Team Ruby. Yet Ruby's the only one from the team that's still going. <sighs> I don't know. Yang's without an arm. Blake's on the run. Weiss has been taken back to her place. And at, uh, at At Atlas. And now Ruby's got a uh, Jean. Nora and the ninja dude that I can't remember his name. It'll be interesting. I mean, obviously they won't have the same dynamic that the actual Ruby team has, but uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, granted, I am still 100% interested in Volume Four. I'm just interested to see how it's going to work out. 
I mean, you can't really have Ruby without the actual Team Ruby, you know? Um, I mean, that's like having a show about Spider-Man, but it doesn't have Spider-Man, sort of. Not really, but it's not really the same thing, but uh, I don't know. Do I love Ruby? Yes. Am I hyped for Volume 4? Yes. Am I skeptical? In a way. Not really skeptical, but uh... Very... Interested to see how it works out with a different team. Is there gonna be an after credit scene? Cause I mean I have a feeling like that last scene it just showed was the after credit scene. I don't know. I'll wait just in the case. And if I'm wrong, then uh, I'll just cut out all this part. So as y'all know, uh, I'm open to any video suggestions or whatnot that you have for me. Um, if you're interested, if someone's actually interested in me doing some kind of live chat or you now thing, you know, just let me know. I just don't think anybody would actually watch it, but you know, you never know. Okay, let's see. There's a little time left. Oh. oh, Monty, oh, I love you, Monty, I love you, Monty, made, started a great series, okay, here we go, Aspen's came. What? Mar? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, let me think about it this way. The uncle knew that Austin was missing. He didn't say dead. And I'm guessing they went through the... Well, they could have gone through the rubble. I mean, since they were... The, uh... Glenda, I think that's what her name is, she was trying to do some repair work like she does, moving stuff around uh, within the city, even though the frozen dragon Grimm was still there, and supposedly it's still attracting Grimm to it, but they were still trying to fix stuff, so apparently they, they could have searched through the rubble. And he could have found Austin's staff. But it does seem very suspicious that one, he had Austin's staff, and two, he jumped down and turned into a freaking raven. Or just some kind of bird. I don't know. But, uh, 
It might be that Cinder is still alive. And she might be posing as Ruby's uncle. That's my theory, possibly. I don't know. I'm suspicious. So, that's it guys. Thank you for following me on this Ruby journey. Thank you for being patient. And if you weren't patient, thank you for not blowing up my inbox. Saying, you piece of trash. Why are you not reacting to Ruby? What are you doing with your life? I'll be like, yo, man. I'm just doing my own thing. You know, I get things done whenever I have time. And just so it happened this weekend, I had plenty of time to not only finish watching Volume 2, but binge watch Volume 3 as well. So, I will have these up. Uh, as soon as possible, so, yeah, y'all know the general rundown, you know, like I said, if you have any other video suggestions that you want me to react, react to, leave them in the comments below, so, that's it guys, uh, yeah, if you like the video, <laughs> like, subscribe, and share, leave your comments down below, and I will see you on the flip side, whoop whoop!